we think about the climate. That's right. You know, when we think about the climate and we ask ourselves a couple of questions. What is climate? So two different versions here. All right. The weather conditions prevailing in an area in general are over a long period of time. That's the natural. Also, we have the prevailing trend of public opinion or of another aspect of public life. That's what we talk about the spiritual. Because the public opinion can only be overcome by the spiritual aspect of Yahweh's word. And we look at the climate of what's going on around us. Yeah. It's everywhere. Mm -hmm. But we have to understand in the climate, there are so many levels of turbulence All right. and storms. And if you're not careful, you get caught in a bad place. That's right. And we think about as believers, how is the climate? In the spiritual for the people of Yahweh. Mm -hmm. You know, one of the greatest things that we have to understand when we serve Yahweh, we can't be selfish. Yahshua Messiah was not selfish. All right. Yahweh was not selfish. That's right. And if we're his children mm -hmm. and we follow out the Yahshua Messiah, mm -hmm. yeah. we cannot be selfish. Mm -hmm. That means that we have to come and we have to order our footsteps in the word of Yahweh. That we have to make sure that as believers of Yahweh that we understand the climate and the public. The timing is right Hallelujah. for the falling away. All right. Because you look at believers nowadays and you, and you realize the climate of the Kahal. People think just because you go to church that you're going to heaven. <laughs> I prefer someone to tell me I'm going to hell and let me get my act together than to let me think I'm enjoying this journey only to get there and realize it's not that journey I had in mind. <laughs> so as believers of Yahweh, it's important that we understand the spiritual aspect yeah. of a climate. That's right. And this climate is something that we have to be well aware of because Satan mm. is a part of the climate. That's right. We can't see through the spiritual but we definitely can pray in the spiritual. And we can walk in the spiritual through Yahweh's word and Yahweh can give us wisdom and understanding. But that means that as believers of Yahweh, we have to understand that everything that you see is not always as it appears. And that means that as believers of Yahweh, you stand firm in your hope and your walk and understand that Yahweh has got your back. And he will always have your back because he is Yahweh. And when it comes time to pray, we need to pray like never before. Yeah. We need to fast more. We need to come to, when the doors of the, of the assembly are open, we need to come in to feed our spirits. Because it's a false perception that I can look at TV and everything else. And you look at all these TV programs out here, and they talk about love, and they talk about the blessing plans. Nobody talk about anybody going to hell. Nobody talk about anything as a correction factor, fornication. And people don't understand the word of Yahweh is not for everybody. Hallelujah. It's only for his chosen. And as, uh, as for those of us who are his chosen, we walk by faith and not by sight. And we, we believe. Hallelujah. And we abide by Yahweh's word. And the things that are wrong inside of us, we pray that Yahweh will build them. Yahweh will also make us grow and, and move us. So we don't run away from our fears. We entertain them. All right. You can't be fearful and be in Yahweh. That's right. You got to go through the trenches. That's right. You got to go fight the battles. You got to be able to believe that when someone says they're sick, the doctor says somebody has cancer, <coughs> you, don't, you don't hear that conversation. All you hear is, I can. Yeah. Because we're all in. Mm -hmm. And when you're all in something, that means it's going to cost you. So in other words, I'm directed, I'm focused, I know where I'm headed. What you said, I, mean, I hear you, but this is whom I serve. Yeah. So your words and the words that I'm talking about, 
Your words represent death. The words I'm talking about bring life. Yeah. So we have to, as believers of Yahweh, understand the climate that we're in. Mm -hmm. And we got to pursue the word of Yahweh. We got to proclaim the word of Yahweh. We got to proclaim Yahweh to us all and, in, and instill in us all that we can make it. Because one day, those churches are not going to, the door's not going to be open. One day, we're going to begin to die off. One day, we got to stand on our own. That's right. So time wasted. We got to think about that. Build yourself up while you can. And make yourself available to the word of Yahweh. We all have a journey to follow. Amen. And think about the people who love you, the people who you inspire, the people who look for you for direction. Yeah. If you're no longer here, what are they going to do? How are they going to pray? Will they hang around? Do you follow this person? Do you worship that person? How's your spiritual life in Yahweh? Because we all should be worshiping Yahweh. Hallelujah. And understand that we can learn from anything and everybody. I can learn from the donkey and I can learn from the ant. That's right. And everything in between. Just realize that if Yahweh made it, there's a lesson, there's a song, there's a message to be had. Hallelujah. Just open your eyes up and understand that Yahweh's got everything under control. Right. And just believe in his word. Just be strong in Yahweh. And understand the climate that you're in is separate from everything else. Yahweh controls it. And one thing about it, he's always consistent. And he's always loving and he's always supportive. And if you just believe in Yahweh's word, he will always be there to protect you. I don't care what's going on, going on around you. The sin may be, it may be water, but they call it quicksand. It may be going down, but you still keep your eye on Yahweh. Because you may sometimes, you may have to go deep in order to get strong. Yeah. You may have to go down to come back up Hallelujah. much better, much more refined. And, uh, and uh, understand about life is tough in general because Yahweh has a platform for us all. So let's all be strong in Yahweh and the power of his might. Let us bow our heads. Yahweh, Heavenly Father, most time, precious King. We thank you for your word. We thank you for your power. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for just being so good to your people. We thank you. Look down upon our young people and guide them. Yahweh, just touch their hearts and just make them what they ought to be. Yahweh, lead them and let them hear the words from on high. That you're always there for them, that you're always there to come for them. And Yahweh, look down upon our other young people and keep them in the way of your word. Let Yahweh make them be mindful of who you are. Look down upon Yahweh those who are sick and the afflicted. Look down upon Yahweh those who bring the word. Make them strong and feed their spirit. Yahweh, just feed them. Feed them, Heavenly Father. Give them strength to overcome. Feed us all, Heavenly Father. We may, Yahweh, hearken unto the words from you. That we may, Yahweh, understand in all things, Yahweh, have a place of purpose. And that you are the guiding light in all, Yahweh. Oh, look, let your anointing, Yahweh, flow. Continue to rain upon us all and open our eyes, Yahweh. That we may feel your anointing. That we may feel your presence in the spirit. That you may feed us all and just guide us. That we may Yahweh walk by faith and understand every platform, every condition, every destiny is controlled by you. We just want to say thank you for all things that we pray in Yahshua Mashiach. Hallelujah.